Hello, dear beautiful souls. So much love, light, gratitude, and appreciation to all of you. Bam. So, with that Shazam, and that love, and that beautiful light, I'm going to take a minute, have a little bit of a seat here, I'm going to talk. And the talk today is about our own energies and what we're doing with them. And some of the chaos that's going on in this other beautiful world of ours uh, uh, on Earth. Uh, be mindful and aware of what you're doing and how you're sending and what you're talking about. Because we are such powerful, beautiful souls. We can create. We are co-creators. Uh, we are also creating for self, ourself. And uh, the best download I got and messages I've been getting confirmation on with other people talking about it is letting go. Letting go of everything and just laying it at the feet. And watch your ha soul or your higher self just walk right over it. Yeah, boop, done. Moving on. Um, be aware of what we're talking about as other people. Judging. Be aware about how we talk about ourselves. Judging. Be aware how we're talking about the world events. Because that's when we're feeding. Even when we're judging, we're still feeding. But when we're really talking about things that are going on that are not in the positive perspective or higher vibrations, we are feeding those uh, souls. Hmm? Best way to put it. They're souls. They are souls. Um, they just don't recognize the light and, um, and understand. But they're very good teachers. This is what I've been getting. They're, they're extremely good teachers. Everybody is in your life for a reason and a purpose. Hmm? Uh, so, I commented on a friend's post one day, uh, recently, because she posted something about, uh, things that are going on in this world, and I said, you know, please do not feed this, this, this fear mentality based black goo, um, because, uh, it's just going to keep feeding it, and they're starving, and this is why they're creating these chaoses and havocs and things that are, you know, stressing people out. There is no need to stress people. Oh, my God. There is no worry. That's like, do 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 reprogram that program. Whoop, zip, bada, bing. Really, because, um... <laughs> it's just a beautiful place, and it's such a gorgeous space, and Mother Earth is so abundant and loving and compassionate and kind, like we are, and, uh, again, I'm gonna share this really quick, is I shared on somebody else's, uh, live feed, um, yeah, I'm gonna say, MJ, all to love, beautiful, check her out if you have not, for reals, um, highly intuitive, uh, just beautiful soul, period, uh, she was saying something and I said, uh, as humans, we are all here on planet Earth as caretakers of all Mother Earth and all creatures as well as ourselves. And that's, that was the only mission, agenda, whatever you want to call it, that we were here for. We just convoluted it with greed and all the other lesser denser vibrational ways of being but we are evolving yay we are evolving we are growing we are becoming ourselves and that's the main point of this whole kind of conversation here is focus on yourself don't focus on anybody else don't 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 look to somebody else to tell you how to do things and if they say you have to do this and you should do that and you got to do this just to get enlightened run Run, as Doctor Who would say. Just run! Run! Run away! Because that, that is not true. No, no, not true. Only you know what is going to enlighten you. And it's your choice. Your choice. You choose to grow. You choose to accept. You choose to, to be the light. You choose to change. Nobody else. No postures, no church, no religion, no prayers, no pomp and circumstance and blah, 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 blah. All those are beautiful words. And I'm not saying that they are bad. No, 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 no. I'm just saying they're not for everybody. What's good for me is not good for you. Hmm? What's good for you may not be good for me. 
Uh, and then if you find somebody saying, well, you, you know, you can't be enlightened because you don't do yoga, you don't meditate, or you don't go to church, or you don't go to do this, you don't do that, and you do this, and you do that, look at them and say, hmm, why are you judging? Hmm? And then ask them to ask themselves, why is it they feel this way? Hmm? And then walk away. Just walk away. And you see these dark entities or lights or, I mean, uh, darker beings, better words, not lights, because they're very, very dim. They're very, very, very dim. They're teeny, 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 teeny little light. But there is a light in there. There is, a, there is something in there. Um, but those denser beings, um, you can't f give them love and light because now you're wasting your energy. Hmm? All you can do is just keep that within yourself and remind yourself how strong you are because that's why they're there in your reality. To remind you of how really strong you are. And we are. <laughs> Way stronger than we actually think. Yeah. And if you look at all the old gods and goddesses of, you know, way back when, you know, Egypt, Greece, and uh, Sumerian, and uh, all the way back, all the way, way, rewind, all the way back. They looked magnificent. They, 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 they were like finely tuned machines because they made it that way. They, my bag just fell. They chose to be that way. My energies are so big, I just pushed my bag over and I'm not even like close to it. Anywho, so with that thought in mind, my friends, my beautiful souls, my dear sisters and brothers, as the Native Americans say, my relations, because we all are family. I love you. Be well.